You want to see what it looks like when I'm sitting? I know what it looks like when you're sitting. Are you sure? Well, you've never seen me with this thing before. How's that look? Can you see that? I'm going to show people how to organize a conference call. Why would you do that standing up? Because why would I do it sitting down? Uh, today I'm going to show you guys how to make a conference meeting or a meeting conference. Have we decided on what we're going to call this, Max? Many of you out there have been using something like GoToMeeting or something similar to GoToMeeting. But if you have Office 365, then you are already, then you already have something that does go to meeting. So you could do things like uh, a conference call where people on their phones can call into a number and be joined with you, or they can do a video call, or you can share your screen, or they can share their screen, and you can see what's happening on each other's screens. And it's really easy to use. All you have to do is pick which application you prefer. I know a lot of people enjoy using uh, Skype for business. However, that is going to be merged into Teams temporarily. Not temporarily. That's going to be merged into Teams uh, by the end of the year. And so uh, the Skype for business button here will be going away. You'll just have the Teams option here. So to create a conference, instead of clicking on this new meeting button here, you'd click on one of these other icons. So if you're a Skype for Business person and you really want to use Skype, then click that. If you're one of those people who are using Teams like our company does, then you click on new Teams meeting. I'm just going to choose that one because it'll still be relevant in like a year. And uh, so as you can see, as soon as I create that, it creates a toll-free number. So if your attendees uh, don't have Teams or they don't want to participate via their computer, they could just dial into this conference, uh, conference call number and then they would use their conference ID number to sign into the right conference. Um, but let's say that someone does want to use their computer and they do want to take advantage of screen sharing and video calling and all that jazz. Um, even if they don't have Office 365, they can still join the meeting by clicking uh, on the link here. So let me show you what that experience is like. You'll click uh, join on the web and it'll ask them to sign into a Microsoft account doesn't have to be an Office 365 account, but it does have to be a Microsoft account. This is this is really easy. I mean, it, I don't think it'll take more than you know today to to film. We are now going to demonstrate how to hold a meeting once you've created it, because it's not just about creating the meeting. You actually got to join it, and then you actually got to moderate it. Uh, so let's, let me show you how let me show you how that's done. Here I am hosting a meeting, and as you can see, I got uh, two people. Max, wave to the camera, and I got uh, Steve with the uh, Protected Trust Support Team in the meeting. How you doing, Steve? Hey, I'm doing great. Great. So this is a video conference call, but I could easily uh, get rid of my camera by. Uh, clicking that button right there, or I can mute my audio by clicking that button right there. So it doesn't have to be a video call, Steve, does it? No, not at all. It can be just audio. Yeah, and if I wanted to share my screen, I'll click this button right here, and I can choose uh, what I want to show people. So when I'm done, I'll just click the uh, button right here. And so that's how a meeting is done in Teams. Really easy to use. All right, that's probably good enough. <laughs> All right, and cut.